trying to go natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm excited because I have a She Sent a Juicy Curls review for you guys today. So yes, I'm finally not late on something. I got two products from the line, the deep conditioner and the milkshake, which I'll be using as a leave-in. I'm also going to be using a shampoo that I haven't tried before on this channel. The oil that I kind of tried, but kind of didn't. And the tiny custard, which I loved, as you guys know. So I heard really good things about this from some of my subbies. So I'm trusting y'all. I'm going in confident with this. The Juicy Curls Hair Mask. So my hair loves fruit extracts and this whole line is about fruit extracts so it's just like I can't wait, gimme gimme, I can only imagine how good this is gonna be. And then the Juicy Curls Hydrating Milkshake which I'm going to be using as a leave-in. So I do think the packaging is super cute. I love the shape on the bottle and everything. I'm just hoping it's easy to get out but based on how it feels like I'm pretty sure it's gonna be easy to get out. So yeah I'm gonna be using this as a leave-in. So all Three of these I haven't used on my channel before. So this is like a first review. And then I'm gonna be adding some of the Okra Line Scalp Stimulating Hair Growth Oil. I just feel like if I've been shampooing every week, maybe I should start back using oils in my routine. So this is like day one of me adding back using oils in my wash and go, just to like a little bit um, in my wash and go. And the Tahiti Cocktail Curl Enhancing Custard, which you guys know I loved and I reviewed before on this channel. So that's the lineup, so let's get started. <laughs> So I love the color of this, it reminds me of like, um, banana, <laughs> banana soft drink as a kid. It has a nice consistency. See how it goes on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm liking the scent. It has a very mild scent, which I like. It has a mild fruity scent, but it's not a super sweet scent. Yeah, so this is my hair after the shampoo so my scalp does feel clean actually I feel like if my scalp could have been could have felt a little better especially considering it's a scalp renewing shampoo my scalp feels clean but not like and my hair does feel a little squeaky I wouldn't say a strip because it does feel moisturized but it still feels a little bit squeaky like a little bit stiff and I think it's kind of drawn up a bit to like the way it gets when it's clutching its pearls a little bit. So I'm very picky, but I'm not picky. My hair is picky. My hair is picky about shampoos, mostly because I leave it in long, mostly because I have a big head, basically. But I do leave in shampoos long, so I'm really picky about shampoos. And this one, even though my hair does feel moisturized and it does even feel kind of soft, it just feels a tad squeaky. So I do think it feels soft. I just wish my scalp felt a bit cleaner, especially for like a scalp specialty, scalp renewing shampoo. I wish my hair felt a bit softer and looked a little more moisturized. Like when it starts to, to web and kind of shrink, I feel like if it isn't as moisturizing as it could be. My usual disclaimers with shampoos is that I leave shampoos in my hair like at least 5 minutes, maybe even 10. So, you know, it's not really a mark against the shampoo so much as in shampoos have to be really completely moisturizing for my hair to come out like it was moisturized at the end yeah. so yeah that's that for the shampoo but the good thing about a shampoo that's kind of on the strong side is we get to really test the deep conditioner so let's get on with that part so I guess I want to say it's different but it's really not because it's like sweet and fruity maybe the fruit might be a little pineapple -y, maybe but pretty much typical she said it said it could be a little fruitier maybe than usual See how this goes on. Ooh. It's a little kind of thick in the hands, but I still feel like it's gonna spread easily. So, yep. It's funny how you take it for granted that the product will spread easily, but not all of them do. But this one definitely is doing so, so I'm grateful. I love the way it's just melting into my hair. And I do kind of section, like I do this and work it in. A lot of people say, why don't you section? I don't really need to section because I section. And I do get product everywhere in the end. Let's 
see what we've got on the work in. So it is more on a creamy side, but the slip is definitely there as usual. So no problem there. I would say it probably has a bit less slip than the usual she sent the deep conditioners, but I'll probably mean like it's a 9 out of 10 for slip instead of like an 11 out of 10. So I think that overall that's fine. It's still going through fine. And I can feel my hair getting immediately moisturized, which is great. It's always good when a deep conditioner falls in that immediate moisture category. For me, <laughs> not a sitter, immediate moisture. She said it just has my formula when it comes to deep conditioners. Like I don't think I've ever had a she sent a deep conditioner that's not moisturizing. Right, so this is my hair after applying the deep conditioner. Feels moisturized and juicy already and I have not let it sit. So this one is definitely an instant penetrator for moisture which is great. So I'm going to let it sit for 30 minutes and I'll be back to show you guys the final result of this hair mask. But like I said already, we went in already, it feels juicy and moisturized. <laughs> okay, so I'm back after letting it sit. Let's see what we have. So it already feels like heavy, like that sucked in the moisture, juicy feeling. So I'm excited. But yes, yes, yes. Magic happened. You know, your hair just feels super soft, like just super soft and... Like if you're underwater or something, like you know, like I don't know, like that's how my hair feels when it's really moisturized and it definitely is now. So I'm thoroughly happy with this deep conditioner, it did the thing. The only thing as I said, I wish it had a bit more slip but other than that, in terms of moisture, it set me up really nice. My hair feels amazing and I'm ready to get with this wash and go. So let's continue. So I'm back here guys, I'm ready to do the front. Um. Success so far, no issues. Ready to do the front. <laughs> Before I forget, let me show you how much deep conditioner I use because I don't want to forget that. Um, I do think I use like a third, which is like a little bit for me. <laughs> so I do think a little goes a long way with this deep conditioner. You can probably get by with using a quarter. A quarter like with thick hair and everything. And it's very moisturizing. Definitely love this. The moisture is A+. plus. So this is my hair with the deep conditioner still in. About to just rinse this section. So I will say this is one of the deep conditioners where my hair feels great after rinsing. Like it feels super soft and... You know, still moisturized, but it doesn't feel coated and all that. So I have mentioned in a few previous reviews different products and after rinsing the deep conditioner, I felt eek. This deep conditioner, this after rinsing this deep conditioner, my hair still feels amazing. So I just wanted to mention that and let's go. <laughs> Before the product, and I'm gonna apply the milkshake. So one thing I will say about this milkshake is a little goes a long way, a super long way. So if you are using it as a leave-in, don't like put as much as you would put for regular leave-in. Just put like a little bit. Um, I do think also it comes out easily. Like I said, the bottle is nice and soft, so it comes out easily. I do like the texture. It's a kind of light, conditioning texture, but still rich. It's like, I don't know, it feels light, but it feels rich at the same time. So that was more than enough for this whole section. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> so I will say like, the slip is good, but it's not like super amazing. Like it's not like what I call a she scented slip. So yeah, I think the slip is probably better than the deep conditioner, but it still could have had more slip. Like I still would say that for this. But other than that, like it feels super moisturizing and everything. The scent I would say is a very mild scent, especially for she scented. Like I really have to go down in a bottle to smell it. And I want to say maybe it's giving me like a light gauve scent, but it's a very light scent. So I do like the scent, but it's very mild, so if you like mild scents, then this might be a good she scented product to try. Um, my only caution, which is a good caution, is remember not to put too much because you really don't need a lot. Just one little dollop did my whole section. So this is my hair with the milkshake. Feeling it? Moisturizing, yes. And now I'm going to just add the oil and the custard. So I am going to start maybe adding oils again in my wash and goes. So here we go. So I do love this oil. It's very moisturizing. I love the scent. It's like an herbal minty scent. So it's not a typical she scent type scent. Love the moisture, the slip and everything. 
and if it has extra health benefits and scalp benefits well you know i'm all for that as well so if you're looking for a scalp oil or you're looking for like a moisturizing oil hair oil i definitely or any oil <laughs> body oil maybe like i definitely recommend this oil if you're looking for an oil any oil you put some aloe and you put some okra even in it i'm a believer like a soft kind of moisturized feeling and it really applies well in your hair and i love the scent i like it has all those good ingredients so now we get to the style of the Tahiti Cocktail Curl Enhancing Custard. So I already reviewed this on my channel as you guys know and I loved it. Um, it's pretty thick which makes it easy to apply and a little goes a long way as well. Kind of did end up putting a lot here. But no drips which I love. <laughs> you can trust it. And a little goes a long way as well. So definitely love this style. The only thing about this style for me is that I kind of re-wet my hair when I apply it just because you all know the story. Um, but I think most people would be, wouldn't even have to do that. Because even I almost don't need to, I'm just going to. And like I mentioned last time on my review, this custard dries really fast too. So if you're looking for a style that dries really fast, defines, moisturizes everything, like I would definitely recommend this style. So I also love the plum agave and nectar. Um, gel or jelly or custard from she sent it and I love this one so this is my hair after applying the styler my hair last time I used the styler was like voluminous and defined so I'm expecting that again I'm looking forward to that again because that is like my favorite result so I'm gonna just do the other side shake and I'll come back tomorrow you'll know the drill <laughs> but yeah let me <laughs> I like it though I love the consistency, it's like kind of silky and light, but still rich and creamy. So I think it will satisfy <laughs> all preferences, let's put it that way, for leave-in texture and definitely the moisture is there and everything. Even in terms of slip, it's like winning for a normal product. <laughs> I just I just expect so much of she scented in terms of slip because usually it has like crazy she scented slip. So I would give the slip on this maybe a 9 out of 10 instead of like 11 out of 10 basically. So this is my hair after applying the milkshake as a leave-in. My hair feels super juicy. I think this is like the juiciest my hair has ever felt with like a leave-in or, or me using the milkshake as a leave-in, whatever. But like this is the juiciest my hair has ever felt with the leave-in-ish product, okay? <laughs> because my hair feels like if I have a deep conditioner in it but I put a leave-in-ish thingy so moisture levels are amazing are freaking amazing and even though like i said the slip is just like a nine out of ten um this is definitely something i would be purchased and mm, my hair just feels so juicy so juicy and i love it okay if you're looking for an oil to try definitely give this a try this is my first oil from she said that i don't know like i don't usually buy oils i usually make my own oils but now I'll be curious to try other oils, I don't know. Because <laughs> I just love the whole oil infused with aloe and oil infused with humectants thing, like I love it. It makes the product just feel so moisturizing. So yeah, for a love wash day, I mean, other than the shampoo, which wasn't horrible, um, the rest of the wash day was just A+. Plus. And I'll be back tomorrow to show you the dry result. Hi, so I'm back. This is my result. Like all of the lightness, volume, and definition I got from the last time I used the custard, but like even more moisture. As I said, the milkshake felt like a deep conditioner in my hair. <laughs> so it's crazy moisture. So if you're looking for moisture, definitely check out the milkshake. I want to check out the leave in now. Um, but yeah. You know success <laughs> so I'm going to have a great like hair week as I put it basically everything I said before while I was applying still stands I was pretty confident in everything so you all know the shampoo was a bit strong for me at least if I leave it in like 10 minutes which I usually do the papaya scalp renewing shampoo like I just wanted it to really make my scalp feel amazing and it didn't quite get there and my hair felt 
moisturized but again not quite as moisturized so i am probably gonna stick with the plum nectar and agave as my favorite she scented shampoo and this was like the only kind of mm, note of the review because i loved everything else you guys know the conditioner did me right, the Juicy Curls, the hair mask did me right. My hair was like, you know, moisturized, instant moisture. You know, you know. <laughs> like I said, I could have had a bit more slip, but the slip was definitely there and I could work it in instantly. As soon as I put it on my hair, I could get my hands through and everything. So, definitely love this. And definitely recommend it too for you guys to try. Like I said, the scent kind of varies a bit from a typical she scented scent. So if you want something a incy mincy bit more fruity <laughs> than the usual candy-ish fruity maybe, you can try it or if you just want the insane moisture like I said. And in terms of texture, it's kind of on the rich and creamy side. And a little goes a long way with all of these, well, yeah, yeah, a little goes a long way with all of these products that I'm showing you today. So that's definitely a win as well. And then we get to the milkshake deep conditioners juicy curls hydrating milkshake and the texture of this is just right too like it's creamy but it's also light so i think it's a good kind of texture for all hair types basically or whichever whether you like your stuff thick or thin because it's light to the thick punch like <laughs> light but acts like if it's thick so i think like you'd be winning either way basically this was like a wow for me just in terms of how moisturizing it is. I guess it's the most moisturizing style I've ever used because I swear it felt like a deep conditioner. I promise you, which is crazy to me. So I would kind of say like it could have given me more definition, I guess, but I didn't really have much hold to it. But if you're just looking for moisture, definitely go for it. And my wash and go to another grade. So like with a good styler with like hold and definition over it, you'll be totally fine and moisturized so i definitely recommend this as well and a little goes a super long way with this like i said i did my whole hair and it looked like if i hadn't even touched the ball yet at the end which was crazy so my hair was like deep conditioned and it looked like if i barely even touched it so double amazing so yeah i'm definitely gonna try to leave in from this line just to see how it's different but definitely the business they had like super moisture especially this i mean this has super moisture what you expect it from a hair mask but to see the hair mask moisture in the milkshake, my mind was blown. So, yeah. I want to say I don't even see glycerin in here. So if you guys, you know, you're glycerin averse people, shea butter averse people, coconut averse people, like, it seems to be doing well in terms of avoiding all the things I hear people say I don't like. The only thing I would say is it does have almond oil. So those of you who don't like almond oil. But, yeah. Overall, it's a win. And the oil, like I said, I've been going pretty heavy on this oil lately, but it's just a really nice moisturizing oil and I really enjoy using it just to kind of help me with my moisture retention with all the shampooing I'm doing and stuff. It's working really well. Plus, like I said, it has some extra herbs and stuff that make my scalp feel really nice. So even if the shampoo, the co-wash may be a miss in terms of like scalp joy, this will definitely bring the scalp joy even if you use it like over a leave-in or cream or wherever you use it. Once it touches your scalp, your scalp will be happy. Definitely recommend this as well. The Okra Hair Repair Scalp Stimulating Growth Oil. I didn't really mention the styler just because I've talked about it so many times and I had a whole review on this. But I love this styler. I love the Plum Nectar and Agave stylers. So those are like two stylers from She Scented that I tried for the first time this year and really got me like, yeah, this is a no crunch, week long hole, great definition, light and fluffy, voluminous, like perfect product I can use. So I have two she sent this stylus on my radar now, which is great that I can just like, you know, grab during a sale or something. I still kind of want to get back into making my flaxseed gel if I can find the time, but I wouldn't mind picking up one or two of these, especially... <sighs> I don't know which one. I still can't really see which one I prefer. I think they both work amazing. I would say that this one like a little bit goes a longer way. Like that's the only difference I can really say. This one is like more pectin-y. I don't want to say like Camille Rose Naturals. Not in terms of working but in terms of texture. And this one is more... Which gel is like this? I don't even know which gel is like this. Maybe As I Am Curling Jelly. More like As I Am Curling Jelly type of consistency. 
So I'm just talking about consistency here, not effect. Um, so, you know, based on whichever texture you like better, maybe you can think of it in terms of that. But I love both of these and I would pick up either one of these happily and totally enjoy a moisturized, defined, soft, voluminous, fluffy, bouncy, moisturized hair week. So, yeah, give you a little... <laughs> Loving my hair, as so you guys can see. Um, yeah, definitely tune in, subscribe for more reviews. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Let me know if you got any other juicy curls, or let's just talk some she scented down below because you guys know I love some she scented. I can't wait for the next sale just to pick up the leave in because now I'm like, damn, you should have got the leave in too. I'll sign off. I don't want to just stay here fluffing, I guess, but <laughs> loving it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.